Okay, so day one of the cam install. Today is gonna be a boring day, but a necessary one. I'm gonna be doing all the breakdown. For right now, this front bumper is gonna come off. The coder intake is coming off. The auto body is off. The brace obviously is coming off. Intake manifold is gonna come off. I'll probably take the spark plugs out, take the coil packs off. Everything around here basically to where it's just the heads that are sitting. Um, once I get to the heads, I'll probably leave that as it is and pick up tomorrow. If I can get around to draining the coolant, I'll do that. Um, but it's just the easy stuff right now, but the necessary stuff, like I said. I'm not going to get super into detail about taking all this stuff off because, like I said, it's the easy stuff. Um, if I run into any problems, obviously I'll pick up a recording for you guys, but I doubt that I will. Mm, other than that, I'm going to get to work and... Um, Oh, also, I'm going to try and be organized. I'm going to try and be an organized mechanic. The dude that's got like Ziploc bags and like Mark stuff. Because the last thing I need is to come up short on some bolts. Um, but like I said, other than that, I'll keep you guys posted. And uh, yeah, let me get to work. Update. Bumpers off, as you guys can tell. I've already disconnected the battery, which I'll come around and show you guys just in case. But the battery's under here, and then under here. Bam! So the negative side is disconnected. Don't close that all the way. I'll lock myself out, and then just. To let you guys know a little like trick or whatever when you go to disconnect the battery disconnect the battery with the doors open that way the windows come down a little bit and then disconnect the battery and then close the doors that way there's that little gap there because if not it'd go up all the way and then you'd have trouble opening and closing because the window would be too high it goes down a little bit automatically so other than that bumpers off i'm getting ready to drain the coolant which actually Ooh. Cool. so take that off because I'm gonna drain that and then everything else that's up here will come off but yeah that's where we're at right now it's about 12 o'clock I'll probably stay out here working until maybe one and then I'm gonna go get something to eat. But for now, that's where I'm at. And I'll check up on you guys in a little bit. Okay, real quick, I wanted to show you guys how to drain the coolant. Pretty simple, I already opened the, the radiator cap, a little English, radiator cap up there. And then there's that little white plastic piece. So we're just gonna turn that. And bam, the coolant will start to come out. Obviously you have your pan. Bam, that's him. All right, we've got the coolant just about finished draining. Branch is chilling. But now that that's almost done, quarter intake is off. Start working on this radiator. So we've got a bolt here that's gonna come off. This is a bracket bolt. Uh, this hose is gonna come off, so we'll disconnect it here and then also disconnect it from the water pump. Obviously the bolt repeats itself on this side here and then we've got the fan bolt that's going to come off there's another one it repeats itself over here that fan bolt is coming off and then we're taking this off this is the power for the fan that gets disconnected and for now that should be it and then we'll take this radiator and move it out of the way so I'm gonna start working on that uh, and then if there's anything else I'll let you guys know but that's what's next okay so I've got everything for the most part off there was the hose here there was a hose here obviously the main hose here I've got all that off the radiator has some some wiggle to it um, I'm not gonna be taking the AC condenser off if you really want it to be a fancy pants you could discharge your AC and then take the AC condenser off I'm gonna do it the ghetto way which is just tilting the AC condenser up to here. 
but for now there are two bolts those right there there's one right there and one here that you can access once you undo the bracket bolts these then the radiator tilts forward and then you can get those out so i'm going to get those out and then there's like transmission lines and stuff on the bottom that i'm going to take off and then we'll be able to take the radiator off and then i'll probably take a break to go get lunch but once i get this these bolts taken out i'll go down there i'll show you the transmission lines and then we'll take this off and then it's lunchtime i'm freaking hungry so i'm gonna get through this pretty quickly and then i'll be back let me show you guys how to remove the transmission cooling line from the bottom of the radiator so here's our line and it runs through here and it lands here this little rubber shroud was just over it and i just got a really really small flat head you just use it as a pick and you just push that out of the way so the rubber shroud comes out of the way and then tucked in here i don't think the uh gopro is going to want to focus that that's small, but there's that little clip that you can see in there, and then it's the same thing. You just use a pick to get that out. Let's see if I can do it on camera, like a professional. Bam, like a professional. It landed over here. Be careful not to lose these things because I've heard they're hard to replace but there it is that tiny little thing you take that off and then you can just pull the line off so that's how you do that hey, there it is too easy also a quick note this line comes off with a 7 8 uh, wrench so I took that little clip off and then just wrench away and then that line will come off so seven eighths. So with the transmission lines disconnected, I've got them kind of, I just don't want to leak stuff onto the floor because then my stepdad would kick my butt. So, you know, it's nice and clean down here. Close that up. All that's left now are two radiator hoses. There's one right there held on by that clip taking these off is easy if you've never done it before you just get pliers and squeeze comes off and then there's the one big one put my hand so you can see this one right here that runs it's all blocked off right now but it runs over there and you can access that clip from this side should be there somewhere in frame <sighs> take those two off and then this radiator comes out and then I go get lunch so after I get that radiator off, that'll probably be the last thing that I do for you guys on camera. Um, I've got to clean up and all that stuff, but by the time I eat and stuff like that, the sun's going to be setting because I've got some other stuff that I need to do. So let me get this radiator off. I'll check back in with you guys, do a conclusion, and then that'll be it for part one and you'll have su successfully completed part one. So, all right. So bam radiator's gone this is the ac condenser once you disconnect those two lines right there so there's this one that leads up to the thermostat and then there was this one right here those two on the bottom radiator comes off pretty easy just make sure that like down here i'll show you guys upside down this little these little metal tabs are connected to the radiator just make sure those are undone and then you can just pull the radiator up and too easy so the fans are over there radiator is over here don't mind gunner right here which i'll probably clean that because that's that's dirty there's a cigarette i don't know how that got in there but yeah that's dirty so i'll probably clean that but other than that that'll be it for this video um yeah, so that's a breakdown, type beat, and it's going to be the same thing next video, I'm not going to lie to y'all, because next video for you guys is going to be throttle body, intake, manifold, 
coil packs, probably the serpentine belt, and more of that stuff. So, is it interesting? No. Is it as satisfying as seeing the camshaft come out and putting the new one in? Not at all. But it's stuff that needs to be done to get to that part. So next video, that's what to look forward to. Until then, guys, thank you so much. If you found this helpful, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. On a serious note, I have an open wound right there and I got coolant in it. So I think I'm going to be an Autobot. <laughs>